Hi Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to see what or whom are you manifesting into your life right now. Okay, so we'll take a look and see what the cards reveal to us. It is going to be a general reading, so please just be mindful of that. If you are after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here where the show more section is. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead and take a look and see what or whom are you manifesting into your life next. Definitely manifesting some pentacles in your life. Look at you. Abundance, wealth, prosperity. Definitely not a lacking mindset here. Mm. of the deck you've got the eight of wands which crowns the reading which tells us that your manifestations here are coming into fruition and um, are blossoming very quickly so things i feel like are going to be happening very uh, swiftly very fast for you here so your manifestations if you do it right here okay and if you're Vib if you're vibrationally in alignment with the very things or the very people or circumstances you're trying to manifest into your life here, okay, if that's all in alignment here and in vibrational, uh, in, in vibrational in sync and frequency with one another, then I feel like your manifestations are bound to happen very quickly and are bound to enter your life very quickly, which is very exciting for you here. Okay, so let's begin with the suit of pentacles. So the suit of pentacles here, is, it deals with the physical the tangible, the external level of our consciousness, right? And to me, this is, well, it actually focuses, not, this is just, is not my interpretation, but it does focus on finances, abundance, material, wealth, work, creativity here as well. And for a lot of you, I feel like you're really manifesting your you're really working on creating an outer surrounding here. You're really working on trying to shape it, transform it, grow it and create it and create an outer surrounding which feels like it's very abundant here. Very comfortable, very luxurious, very abundant here. I feel like your manifestations are definitely growing and developing here and to me it feels like your financial situation here is definitely going to be improving. So the suit of pentacles, the top row here, it does cover the material aspects of your life here, which includes your work, your business, any business ideas here, property, trade, um, money, and just any other material possessions here. So for a lot of you, I feel like the positive aspects of the suit of pentacles is that it is alignment um, and it does include manifestation realization prosperity and proof and i feel like a lot of you are manifesting um some very wonderful things here and it feels like your manifestations are happening a lot sooner than later here so you could be manifesting a new um working on a new business idea or working on an idea that feels very personal to you and you're going to manifest it here in the physical realm um, you could be manifesting new opportunities which are going to um, which you're attracting through your vibrational energy here new opportunities that are going to present uh, themselves to you they could come in the form of a new career path um, a new like a business idea or a new business venture here um, or like a trade opportunity here 
um, it, it feels like it's something that you're like a new career new network connections as well you could also be manifesting people um, and these connecting energies feel like there may be earth energies here so it could be Taurus Virgo or Capricorn um, you could be sort of networking with new people or networking with certain contacts that I feel like these people feel as they're very practical, they're very career minded, they're very focused, they're very down to earth um, and they could help you with your manifestations. They could also connect you to the right people or put you onto the right path here. But I feel like you're really in a position where you're manifesting the right people the right circumstances, the right situations here to really create that outer surrounding, that environment and that life that you ultimately want to live here. Now with the King of Pentacles, I mean, this is for a lot of you, I'm seeing that you're coming into a it feels like you're coming into your own here. It feels like your um, I see financial abundance here for you in the future um, this is wealth this is leadership security business it's discipline as well you're going to be in a position where you're really proud of your achievements here and you're proud of your prized possessions and you're proud of your wealth um, it's not that you're becoming greedy or materialistic it's not that kind of energy it's more that you're proud of to me, the way it translates here, it's that you're very proud of the journey that you took to get you there, the discipline that you took to get you there, to either get your manifestations to um, manifest in the physical realm or, you know, the journey that you undertake. Because putting your manifest, I mean, ordering from the catalog of the universe and putting your manifestations out into the universe is just, it's just one of the many things that you have to do in order to create those manifestations and, and allow them to come into fruition and for a lot of you I feel like I'm seeing that the king of pentacles he represents this highest attainment of wealth and material success here notice the castle um, behind him here now he's built that that's right he did it through his solid efforts and through his drive and through his determination and this is why I feel like you're most proud of what you have done and the type of people and circumstances and the opportunities here that you have created or you are you have attracted or you still are attracting into your life so it doesn't feel like you're boasting or you're showing off or that you're becoming greedy or materialistic i don't think it's that to me it just like it's the sense of pride of your achievement and pride of your success and you know just really proud of your success here and you're wanting to share it with others because I'm seeing such an abundant energy here and you guys are such you know you guys are very generous water energies are so generous and you're so kind and I feel like to you that's you know that's a part of your happiness to be able to share yourself and your time and your energy and your generosity with others i feel like that's what plays into your happiness but honestly um i feel like the king of pentacles could also mean that you're manifesting people who are going to give you some very good advice guidance or wisdom to get you onto that right path here okay i'm also seeing that you're going to be identifying with a lot more opportunities um in the future for growth and this, this expands to different areas of your life. So it doesn't just necessarily have to mean career or personal endeavors. It could also mean like relationships and friendships here. But I'm seeing growth, success. I feel like you're taking it upon your own self to recognize your own self-discipline and your own self-control. And the fact that you're investing in all the right decisions here. So... You're also manifesting your dreams here as well. Dreams, goals, and aspirations. Because of the suit of pentacles energy, to me, it feels like you're... See, the suit of pentacles in combination with the top row here tells me that you're really... You're taking your vision, right? That vision of that dream or that goal or that um, long-term, you know, mini goal that you have. Um, and you're, you're translating your vision into something that feels very tangible it feels very real and it feels very practical here and you're also attracting the right people into your life who are going to help you build your dream or you who are going to help you achieve that um now with the eight of pen not the eight of pentacles the eight of swords sorry um okay so i feel like 
there's a message for you here with regards to your manifestation here. I feel like you need to kind of step away from the mentality where you feel like you're restricted by your circumstances or you feel like you don't have what it takes within you to manifest that lifestyle or to manifest that dream or goal or desire that you have or that you know ideal relationship or partnership whatever your manifestations your personal personal manifestations are to you this is any negative thoughts or any uh, like negative mentality here any victim mentality is definitely not serving you and this is not what you know, being in alignment with your manifestations is all about. So you need to step away and step outside of that kind of negative thinking because it's not helping you, okay? So it's not helping you. It's not a very empowering mindset as well. So anytime you find yourself kind of going down that road, acknowledge it, recognize it, reframe, redirect your thoughts onto something a little bit more positive or for whatever reason, if you're in that mood where you don't think you can sort of, you know, um, think positively, that's okay. We have those days. Um, try and stay neutral. Just neutralize those thoughts. Try and stay very general if you can. All right? Um, because the Eight of Swords here to me is a warning. Okay? You will forever stay in an unfulfilling job or, you know, a, an unhealthy relationship. Um, or you'll forever be in a situation where, you know, you're indebted to someone or something here. Um and that kind of mentality and that kind of thinking is what keeps you out of alignment with your inner being and your manifestation. So you're not trapped. There's always solutions and resolutions available here. And you're not imprisoned by your way of thinking. If you think you are, you are. Okay? And if you think you're not, you're not. It, it, all, comes down to, it all comes down to you and what it is that you believe in here. Now, with the Four of Cups energy, uh, you've come up as a Four of Cups, right? I feel like this is also a bit of a like a reminder here to kind of help you with the manifestations and where you're at. And to me, this is like you might, the cards might be encouraging you to practice a little bit more like self-meditation or some relaxation techniques here, you know, um, like... Because the, the card itself is deep in cont contemplation. It's all about meditation here, right? So to really be in the act of manifestation, you really have to be al in alignment with your inner being and with your own thoughts here and your own desires here. So to me, the Four of Cups tells us that there are going to be new opportunities and new invitations from the universe that are flowing your way. And it is opportunities that you have manifested but do not say no to them, okay? Do not say no and do not turn them away purely because of this Eight of Swords kind of energy state, okay? Um, and also, the other message that I get, which is a bit, which kind of contradicts what I just said, but I feel like I have to relate it back, but I feel like there will be Remember how I was saying I'm seeing like a lot of opportunities that are coming your way and these extend beyond just career and beyond money and beyond finance here. Okay, this can relate to love and um, work and friendship opportunities and, you know, other personal endeavors and opportunities that will come your way and even invitations here. But because I feel like there's going to be this like richness and this flow of invitations, it's important for you to learn to say no to those that like decline any invitations or offers or projects that don't feel like they're in alignment with your future path, okay? So learn to say no because we know that water signs sometimes have a hard time saying no and drawing boundaries. That's the other message I get. But death as well, you're manifesting new beginnings, you're manifesting transformations here, you're manifesting new job, career, new opportunities, new career paths, new romantic relationships, new um, friendships here. You're manifesting, manifesting new starts, you guys. You're manifesting endings which are going to give birth and give way to new beginnings. And that's extremely exciting transitions as well here. And don't be scared. I feel like there's so many changes that are coming your way. And I feel like death, the card itself, is symbolizing that you're a point in your life where... Something or someone is no longer serving you, okay? Do not be scared to let that person or let that thing go. Because ultimately what it will do is it will open up the possibility of something 
that is far more exciting, valuable and essential for you and your inner being here in the future for you. So don't be scared to part ways. Don't be scared to put the past behind you. And don't be scared to embrace the new opportunities, the new possibilities, the new beginnings that await you. And only then will you see just how important this like the promise of this transformation and this renewal is for you. Alrighty, and these are your messages. So some very exciting stuff. Keep working on your manifestation. You can have that ideal partnership. You can have that life you've always wanted. Remember, if you think you can, you can. If you think you can't, you can't. So it all comes down to your thoughts. Your thoughts create your reality. So watch those very closely. But I wish you all the very best with your manifestation. Thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate your time, your energy, um, your attention. Thank you guys, your support. I appreciate it all. If you're after a personal reading, feel free to connect. Otherwise, I'll check in with you later. Bye for now.